Hi. Welcome to the Online Math 52 Final Exam Practice Test. My name is Bob Pryor and I'm going to be going through each of these items one at a time. And one nice feature about them is that each item on the practice test shows what section it is from in the, in the book. Now we do not have this on the test itself but here it is on the final practice test so that you can refer to the book as needed. Alright, let's get started. Number one, simplify this expression 3p minus 6 times the quantity p minus 9 plus p. Key thing here is recognizing that this minus sign goes with the 6 sign in front of a term or number belongs to that term or number and so it's negative 6 that we distribute here. So this expression becomes 3p minus 6p plus 54 plus p. Gathering all the like terms together this is negative 3p plus 54 plus p and now I'll combine the negative 3p and positive p as a minus 2p plus 54. All right, number two, solve for k. We have here 5 sixths times k is equal to 30. And to solve for k and isolate the variable, the easiest way to do that is to multiply each side by the reciprocal of 5 sixths and that is multiplying each side by 6 fifths. And because I'm multiplying by a fraction I'm going to make 30 into a fraction 2 as 30 over 1. Of course on the left side the 5's divide out and so do the 6's. On the right side the 5 will divide into itself once and into 36 times and this gives us k equals the 6 times 6 which is 36. Number 3. This comes from chapter 2 where we solve an equation and the first thing we must do is clear parentheses. This negative outside must be distributed as if we're multiplying by negative 1. Let's see what we have here. Negative 1 times 3a. Negative 3a and minus 1 plus a is equal to 2. Combining like terms we have negative 2a minus 1 equals 2 and then we can add 1 to each side to clear the constant. Negative 2a equals 3. Solving for a we must divide each side by negative 2 and let's see, we have a by itself is this fraction, 3 over negative 2 is also negative 3 over 2. I'm choosing to put the negative in front of the fraction. All right, number 4, solve for x. This equation has fractions, obviously and we must clear the fractions. In fact, I'm going to write even the 1 as 1 over 1 so we can see that it has a denominator. And 2x over 3 minus 1 half. The least common denominator here, LCD, is 6. That's the number that we can multiply each side by. The left side by 6, I'll make it 6 over 1. And the right side by 6, and in doing so, each of those denominators will divide out with the 6. Let me do this one step at a time. 6 over 1 times x over 6. I'm, I'm going to write it as 6x over 6 so that we can simplify in a moment. Minus 6 over 1 equals, as we distribute the 6 over 1 on the right side, times the 2x over 3, that's it, it's uh, 12x over 3 minus, and here's 6 over 2. In this case we get x minus 6 is 4x minus 3. And now it's like we have a brand new equation and we've got to solve that. 
Let me adjust this a little bit. Okay, let's now get the x's together by subtracting x on the left and on the right. And I always choose to get the x's together first because that's what we're trying to isolate in our focusing on. Let's see, we get negative 6 equals 3x minus 3. And now we go ahead and combine the constants by adding 3 on each side. And we're now looking at, let's see, negative 3 equals 3x. And let's divide each side by 3. The result is that negative 1 equals x, but as you learn in the book, I prefer to have that written so that the x is on the left side. x equals negative 1. There's our solution.